um excuse the way i look i look gross at the moment but anyway i got asked on my instagram to make a youtube channel um and telling everything about my story and being 17 and pregnant so that's what i have done so i will do another video on sharing my story and going through it all but this video is going to be a q and a of some questions i've been asked on my instagram account by followers let's get started so oh and excuse the background and stuff and the lighting the lighting's horrible there's no light in this room um i'm actually in her nursery at the moment so it's still getting touch-ups done so there will be better lighting in the future videos first question was who was your closest friend throughout pregnancy and why my closest friend would be my best friend megan um she has been there for me throughout everything and she's just been really helpful and yeah and the second one what was your f first reaction when you found out i took a test and then when i was waiting for it like to show positive i was kind of thinking oh it can't be like it's not there's not going to be positive and then I seen two lines and I kind of went in to like a shock mode and I froze for like five minutes straight in the bathroom and then yeah so I was just really shocked at first. What hospital are you having Scarlett in? I'm in Perth Western Australia um I'll be having her in King Edward. What other baby names did you consider? If she was a boy it would have been Elijah J or we can I liked the name Piper May for a girl, but then, and also Faith, but we went with Scarlett because we both agreed on that. How did you and your boyfriend meet? I met him through my best friend at the time. Um, her boyfriend was actually his best friend, and we went, me, my friend, and her boyfriend went to his house, and then that's how we met, and then... We didn't see each other for like three weeks. I thought I was never gonna see him again because I like really liked him at the time. And then my friend invited me over one time and then he was there again and it just kind of went from there. What are some goals you have for Skylar? And Skylar is her name. Well, I just want her to have the best life possible really. I don't want to go down the path that my mum went down and I just want everything to be easy for her in life or well, life's not easy but I'm gonna try and make it try and make it to be what are your plans for school and what job will you want once you've finished your studies well I'm current I'd be in year 12 if I was still in school but I dropped out in year 10 because I had a job and then I was working full-time so when you work full-time you can drop out of school like earlier but yeah i won't be going back to school and what job do you want once you finish your studies um i don't know i like horses like obviously if you've been following me on my instagram so maybe something to do with horses or i'm really not sure i used to work um in hospitality and i really liked that so maybe i'll get another job in hospitality once she's born obviously a few weeks after was it planned to have a baby at 17. no was not planned it was a total shock and it was an accident but accidents happen and i wouldn't change anything for this did you want a boy or a girl I wanted a girl and I got my little girl but my boyfriend um, Liam he wanted a boy and everyone thought it was a boy at the start even I was convinced that it was a boy and then we went to the scan and there was nothing between her legs and she's all girl so it was a quite a shock seeing the scan and getting told she was a girl because everyone had just been saying it's a boy it, like all my family thought it was a boy is it hard being young that's a tricky question. It is hard, but it is worth it. It's been fun, like, setting up her nursery and stuff and getting, like, all the bits and bobs ready. It is hard on your body, though, I guess. Like, I'm not used to seeing myself big anymore. Like, when I was little, I used to be really overweight and I struggled with my weight really, really bad. And, 
now that I'm pregnant, I have put on, at 24 weeks, I've put on 12 kilos. So I've gone from 54 kilos to, I'm currently at 67. <laughs> so it's been hard trying to accept my body weight, but it's all going to be worth it at the end. Weight can come off after she's born. Does she kick? Yes, she's very active. She especially she loves to kick at night time when I'm trying to go to sleep. And she usually kicks, I don't know if you can see, I can't see the camera, but she usually kicks, um, when I was around 20 weeks, 21, it would all be like at my lower stomach, but now she just loves to kick further up. So kind of near my ribs. How many weeks were you when you found out? I was six weeks when I did a test I took like three I had my first ultrasound at exactly seven weeks and she was measuring a week ahead how do you tell your family um well with my boyfriend he was working away at the time so I called him like when I was walking back like walking out of the bathroom I told him and there was a massive pause on the phone and he said he had to go um yeah that was telling him telling my family I told my nan first and she kind of told everybody else I just messaged her on messenger <laughs> and I told her that I was pregnant and she responded well what can I say and she took it really well I thought I'll share this in my next video in my story but I have been pregnant before and I had a miscarriage and she found out when I was at the hospital so it didn't really go well because I didn't tell her, it didn't come from me, it came from the hospital. So she was a lot better this time and she accepted it and she's really excited. So yeah. So that's it for this video. Um, my next video will be sharing my story or I'm thinking about doing a nursery tour. Um, it's kind of done, I'm sitting in here. Um, still got a little, little bit to go, we've got to fix the light. So, yeah. Thank you for watching this video and please subscribe if you want to see more. Um, I have just started this channel up so it's not the best but I'll work on it and I will be vlogging and stuff after she's born and I will be doing a lot more videos. Um, so like I said my Instagram links will be down below if you want to go follow them. Um, I post there daily so you can see what's up with my life. Um, yeah. There will be a lot more videos coming soon. I will do my story, like I said, and I will be doing my nursery tour because I'm really excited to do that because it's almost finished. Everything's in here. It's just really the light, like I said. So, yeah. So, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, and I will see you next time.